buongiorno today i'm gonna be going to a book signing i haven't been into a book signing in so long because of the pandemic and i'm so excited this is gonna be a local author it's gonna be hosted by the library oh my god i'm so excited also in an area that i've like never been to before so i'm really excited to like explore the area and see like a new place that i've never seen so i'm gonna go now <laughs> is a um, Taming the Shrew retelling. Um, and the third will 
probably be um, a Merchant of the Mario, which is a Merchant of Venice. Um, and then um, there's a question about that. I don't know. There, we'll see if there's more. Uh, uh, because I was an English major at Stanford. Um, and I um, can write, I can do Shakespeare. You know, and I mentioned it in the country club um, scene in La Jolla, you know, there were t they didn't allow Mexicans in the La Jolla country club, and now he's there. And, but, you know, he, he doesn't really kind of, you know, he, he sometimes internalizes it, and sometimes he just kind of, you know, doesn't even deal with it. And, you know, for me, I've always considered myself Mexican, and I'm like, no, seriously, I'm Mexican. Like, like, and, like you know, um, I understand that, you know, I don't have a cat, I don't look at or whatever, and I've always kind of struggled to, to try to prove, you know, like, there's this amazing scene in Hentified, if anyone's seen that TV show, where he's trying to prove how Mexican he is. He signed with my agent way back, publishing was not as, what's the right word, open, um, and, um, you know, I had had talks with different friends who were editors, and because I'm half of the book, you know, and I'm just that's not, not what I want to do, you know. And so my indie books, you know, most of the characters are, are Mexican and whatever. But for this book, the reason I went drag was I wanted to write all Mexican, you know what I mean? And then some other criticisms and stuff, you know, um, from that like, were not Latino, you know, that certain things I understand or upset about Spanglish because I refuse to, like, I refuse to italicize it. And my publisher's amazing. But I was like, you know, I didn't really write the book for them, you know what I mean? So I don't really care. Like, it's, I wrote the book for me, for her. And I'm not, like, I want more Latina, uh, Latina uh, authors and everything. Like, I don't think I am the, you know, the one, you know what I mean? I, I just think there should be so many. This is my story. Um, I obviously have a different perspective. And I want all these different voices from all these different experiences. And I want there to be hundreds of books, you know, that, and especially for kids, you know, just to, and, one, one other thing. I would not be here today. The only reason I wrote is one of my favorite books ever was at least about that sturdy portion and to kind of um, show that. So that was from the get-go. Um, and, and this is obviously my love letter to San Diego. I had read a book. Um, I think it was in the San Diego book. But um, uh, uh, Ruby's Fish Tacos. And, and he had said that he, you know, he had had a taco in the 70s from a guy um, named Carlos. Um, and he offered the guy to move, and he didn't want to. And I, my first thought was, where's Carlos, right? Like, where, you know, this is your fish taco, like, where are you? And then I was like, what if Carlos was a woman, and what if she, he liked her? And then, you know, like, and then he just goes, and even the story of Taco Bell as well. Um, because Taco Bell, you know, it was in L.A., and it was a um, Bell, you think Bell, but Bell was a guy with the last name Bell, and he had a burger stand, and he saw that there was a Mexican restaurant next door, and then every, and so he was like, okay, well, I'm going to, and they made crispy tacos, and so he decided, and it is about, um, so it's a team in the shrew retelling, it's called Kiss Me Me Amore, it'll be out next year, um, I just sent in my edits, um, but I'll have like 10 more rounds, because, you know, let's be real, um, but it's, um, and it's a set around the Slatos, um, and so each one's set around a, a holiday, but basically, um, Enrique wants to go up there, so he's, He's kind of like your woke surfer. He tries, like he really does. So he's very different than Ruben. Um, so he goes there and he wants to partner with an ethical farm. And she's this amazing Latina owned like farm. She owns her own farm that she grew up with. He's, he's sick and he thinks that he's her boyfriend, so she lies and says he is to make her dad happy. So then it's like a whole thing. It's really, really fun. So I hope yeah.
just got back to from the signing oh my god i had such a great time although it was a little hard to hear the author because their mic wasn't like super strong and we were like smack in the middle of a park and there was like a little kid's birthday party happening so the sound was not the best but it was still really fun and it was great to hear the author talk about the book and i didn't even know that they were actually giving away free books to the first people who got there and i got a free book oh my god i'm so excited and i got it signed oh my god i didn't even know that the library was giving away books i just got there and they were like hey do you want a free book we're giving them away to the first people who show up so i was like oh my god it was so great and i got it signed so this is a romeo and juliet retelling set locally it's a romance and nobody dies thankfully and there's like some really exciting like adaptation news coming out like the author said that she's not allowed to say what is gonna happen but like i asked her and we talked about it and oh my god it sounds so exciting i cannot wait for like the announcement to be out so we can talk about it oh my god it sounds so amazing i cannot wait to read this book it just it just sounds so cute and i can't believe like it's it's a local author and it's also set locally so this is so cool I'm excited to read it and i'm so happy i got a free book let me know down below if there are any local authors where you live my social media links are all down below my twitter my bookstagram my goodreads arrivederci Thank you.